Hey guys, it's Chris with the Front Real Estate Problem Solver. We just got a call to uh, come look at a house, so that's what we're over here doing. But what I wanted to do was make a video of what it is that we're looking for. So maybe y'all will have a uh, better understanding of what it takes to fix some of these houses back up. Sorry, lock. Okay. Well, this one is a duplex. It's got a side building over here, which is actually one unit. It's a three bedroom. And then the front of the house is a two bedroom. We can go around here to the front. You can see that it's been empty for a while. Huh? What? Well, see if we can figure out how that works. This one has been empty for a while. Of course, we're gonna look at the front curb appeal which this one's got, but we've got roof leaks. This has obviously not been lived in for quite some time. Let's take a look at this. This house was built in the 30s, so don't be surprised at what you see. Okay, somebody changed out the windows, but this area, this neighborhood has been unattended. Obviously some of them are getting busted with rocks, kids. We've got an area in the roof right here that's been leaking for a while and it's made it all the way through the ceiling and starting to rot some of the floor. Somebody's tried to close in this door and put in some outlets, the original fireplace, original hardwood floor, the old plank and plaster walls, which was beautiful in its heyday. But when it gets settled in too far and it's been too long, Sometimes you just got to tear it down and start over, which is what they've did. If you look up, they've already taken the drywall and all the insulators are still sitting up there, but all, most of the wiring's gone or cut. They've stolen the copper out of this house. This is apparently a living room. This was the kitchen area. See the plank and plaster? See, this is what they used back in the old days. This stuff is great. I mean, this is bulletproof walls but you can see that they've taken it out of a lot of the sections of the house. They've wired, been starting this up as a uh, laundry room and then the guest bathroom right here. Now I'm walking through the hallway and here's the master bedroom with its own bathroom. Full bath, obviously. There's the old doors which if we needed to, we could put them back. This one has got a door that's been framed in. It's still got a closet over here, so this could still be the master. The reason that they probably did this is because uh, FHA or HUD does not allow you to count a bedroom if you have to pass through it to get to another room, which you don't have to here, but in this case, they went ahead and closed it off on both ends to make sure it is officially a bedroom. One, two, zero. So, luckily we can look upstairs and see all the roof pretty easily without too much trouble. There's some staining in a couple places, venting. Don't see much wrong with the roof. Uh, but this old house definitely I've got a couple spots that we've already seen that weren't too bad, but they're definitely gonna have to be fixed uh, pretty quickly. This is not the worst house we've ever seen. We've uh, dealt with worse. So if you've got a house that you haven't touched in years, or you decide you've got or you uh, picked one up from mom and dad or grandparents in probate and they passed on and left you the house and you just don't know what to do with it, or you've had a house that's been in the family and nobody's even thought about it for years and it looks like this, give us a call or go to our website at realestateproblemsolver.com and we'll be glad to come out and take a look at it and give you some options, see what you can do with it. We might buy it, we might help you, uh, help you sell it. One way or another, we can find something.